Are you determined to serve the Lord? Are you determined, praise God, to give up sin? Are you determined to go on with Jesus? Amen? And that's what it's all about. Glory be to God. Christianity. Faith and spiritual warfare make it a determination effort. Amen? Amen. Will you make that effort? A lot of people, ah, I don't want nothing to do with that. I need a place to stay. You got it all wrong. I need some food in my stomach. What you need. You that are watching this, wherever you're at in the world, what you need is salvation. Praise God. You say, well, there's a lot of religions out there. I can get it. Yeah, there might be a lot of religion, but there's only one way to get into the kingdom of God. And that is through Christ Jesus. If you go back to the scripture, you'll see in John 3, 3, it says, except a man be born again, he shall not see the kingdom of God. And it should not be mocked. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it is the most important message in this entire world. Amen. You think that politicians has got something great to say. You say, think that other people have got something great to say. Well, listen to me, people. The greatest thing that has ever been said is Romans 10, 9. It's confess with your mouth. Amen. To believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that God is raising from the dead and I shall be saved. Amen. Amen. That's what it's all about. Glory be to God. Amen. You're going to die. What's going to happen to you when you die? Some people go, oh, I don't care. It's all over with. It'll be done with. I got news for you. It's not all over with. It's only the beginning. It's only the beginning. You'll either end up in hell or you'll end up with Jesus. It's your choice. It's not a great theological thought about behind this. But it's either hell or Jesus. Amen? Now, I choose Jesus. Amen? I choose the kingdom of God. Glory be to God. In this message, I want to talk about the importance of making a determined effort in everything that we are involved in. Amen? Everything that we're involved in, both spiritual and natural. I know we have to live in this life. Amen? And I know some of us have had, got to have a job that's not very spiritual. Amen? But you got to make a living, don't you? Everybody can't be a teacher. Everybody can't be a pastor. Or a music director. Or a Christian musician. A lot of people have got to go to work. Amen? And when they go to work, they are serving the Lord because they're paying their tithe. Amen? A lot of people don't want to talk about that. Or a lot of people in the church don't want to hear about the tithe. It's a commandment of God at that time. 10%, glory be to God, of what God gives you. Determination is a necessary part of our spiritual warfare and walk with the Lord. Amen? We will not endure to the end without it. Glory be to God. Didn't Jesus say, I want you to endure until the end? Amen? How do you do that? How do you endure to the end? Glory be to God. And walk with the Lord. You have to be determined, don't you? You got to say, well, I am going to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. You can have plenty of vision, insight, and purpose in their life. Amen. But without determination, you will not get the job done. Glory be to God. You won't get the job done, I'm telling you. When your vision and purpose fail, your determination must kick in to keep you going in the midst of doubt and uncertainty. You've been there, haven't you? You've been there. Most of us, and I say most of us, are fighting a battle with sin, aren't we? 
There's sin in our life. Well, how do we get away from that sin? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. Amen? And trust the Lord. Hallelujah. Proverbs 4.23 Proverbs is a lot of wisdom in it. Who wrote Proverbs anyway? Well, it was Solomon, wasn't it? Glory be to God. The wisest man alive. Keep your heart with all diligence. For out of it springs the, what? The issues of life. Amen. The issues of life. Put away from you a deceitful mouth and put perverse lips far from you. Let your eyes look straight ahead and your eyelids look right before you. Ponder the path of your feet and let all your ways be established. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Remove your foot from evil, from sin. Amen? Amen. Determination. What is the definition of determination? Well, it's very simple. Determination is the inner fortitude and the strength of character. You know what character is? What kind of character do you have today? Well, if you're out there doing the things you shouldn't be doing, your character is not very well, is it? Being disciplined to remain consistent. What did I say? Being disciplined to remain, it demands to re remain consistent, strong, and diligent, regardless of the odds that the demands it is in the act. Definitely and firmly are coming to a resolve. Determination is acting in faith when we temporarily lose sight of where we are going. Amen. Without determination, we'll find ourselves being tossed to and fro, won't we? Here and there. And beat to a pulp. You ever been there? 